John, what is up guys? Kamusta kayong lahat dyan? And I hope you're all doing well. And of course, thank you for stopping by to watch our video today. And if you're new to this channel, welcome sa inyo. And since nandyan na kayo, pakihit nyo naman yung subscribe button and yung notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago nating uploads. Ayan. So matapos ang unos na dala ni Rolly at ni Ulysses, something to look forward to is the Christmas season. And kapag Christmas season, lalo na ilang tulog na lang, December na, syempre madaming Christmas sale. And dito sa episode natin, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang isang sneaker silhouette na kaabang-abang sa mga susunod na Christmas sale. So let's go! Yon, welcome back guys And here we have in front of us is your Nike Orange Box And uh, this came from the Nike Philippines website And I got this from the Nike Energy Week sale So this is a very exciting uh, silhouette And legendary silhouette that we'll be featuring for today So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this box open Here you have it guys, this is the Air Max 90 recrafted. So this is the second version of this uh, recraft release ng Nike. So uh, initially this was uh, designed by Tinker Hatfield. Of course, everyone knows who Tinker Hatfield is. Madaming dinesign na to dito sa uh, brand ng Nike. So this was originally released during the 1990s in the... Uh, this became uh, a very iconic sneaker silhouette uh, throughout the years and uh, madami na din siyang modifications na pinagdaanan, madami nang nabago. So medyo malayo-layo na yung current design niya dun sa original na ginawa ni Tinker Hatfield. So what Nike thought of was baguhin natin, ibalik natin sa OG. So that's what we're going to look at today. So let's go ahead and have a closer look at this. So this is dominantly white and meron ditong hits ng black and maroon. So ang colorway na nakalagay sa kanya white and maroon do sa box. So what they created was they redesigned the toe box area. So yun ang aking nakikitang pinaka significant change. So overall wala nang ibang napalitan dito kundi yung sa may toe box area at saka yung ibang materials na ginamit sa kanya. So the uppers are made from this nylon material you have this synthetic leather uh, you have nubak on the swoosh and you have this uh, thermoplastic urethane material na ginamit to sa eye stays so the toe box nga is made from this breathable nylon and medyo mas malambot na siya compared to dun sa mga naunang release and the toe guard is made from this white synthetic leather so I wish they could have used premium leather and I, we wouldn't mind siguro paying uh, an extra amount just to have a feel for uh, uh, genuine leather like tumbled leather man lang so that's what I'm looking forward to sa mga susunod na release ng uh, Nike and then you have this uh, black synthetic leather mud guard extending to the heel with this uh, TU pla uh, TPU plastic Air Max branding. So kung mapapansin niyo yung mga unang version, uh, ang taas nito, eh, ang taas nitong uh, toe guard and then mataas din tong mud guard. So dito sa version na to, version 2, binaba nila itong uh, itong uh, mud guard na na black. So mas makitid na siya and very sleek yung uh, look nitong sapatos nito because of what they did so it's very very close to the original version so the swoosh naman on this uh, on the lateral and the, the medial side of the, the sneaker uh, is also redesigned based on uh, Nike statement and uh, it's now made from this uh, softer nubak material and it extends hanggang dito sa likod dati kapraso lang yan hanggang dyan sa gitna dyan sa may Air Max na, na branding so ngayon in-extend na dito sa likod which is uh, a, a very a very good thing that they did so on the heel naman 
same rubberized badge with the, the Nike Air logo. So, hindi nila pinalitan to. It just makes sense na hindi nila pinalitan kasi kung gagawin nilang plastic to, matigas. So, on the heel part, syempre, one of the requirements is to make it softer. So, it's a good thing that they retained the, the original rubber material. And uh, going to the lace taste naman, these are made from uh, TPU material, yung thermoplastic urethane material nga na ginamit nila. Kasi dati, ang ginagamit dito is rubber. So, ang tendency is medyo nababanat siya, uh, nadideform ng konti. But using this material, uh, I really like it kasi it keeps its form. So, andyan lang yung, yung forma niya hindi nababago. So, you have this uh, Nike, standard Nike laces with this maroon tip. So, ito din sa pinakadulo, TPU plastic din, and you have this well-padded tongue with the Nike and the, the swoosh branding. So, it's still the same. Looking at the, the, the sock liner, it's the same sock liner that they used on the uh, earlier versions and then uh, your iconic insoles. So, wala naman na bago din do sa insoles. Same uh, thickness and uh, you still have this same design na nandun sa ilalim niya nakapareho nung nasa outsole so going to the cushioning technology naman na ginamit no modifications with the cushioning system it's still the same uh, EVA foam all around and then you have this uh, Nike Air capsule that's exposed so walang walang any addition dyan hindi nila in-enlarge yung yung air capsule so it, it basically has the, the same comfortability nung uh, mga unang release so what I've heard was there is a third version itong uh, infrared which has a softer foam and a softer uh, air cushioning system so uh, we're yet to, to get that uh, probably if it goes on sale baka makuha natin yan Ayan. so overall napaganda nung ginawa nila na ibinalik nila yung toe box dito sa very sleek version compared to uh, the earlier versions so mas gusto ko to much closer to do sa original and I'm looking forward to getting yung third na variation itong recraft so I, I've seen on reviews uh, sa, sa website or sa page ni Seth Fowler ni Sean Go pinakita na, na nila to and uh, it looks really really good so Overall, for me, this is 10 out of 10 for the, the recraft look. But on the cushioning side, it's uh, probably a 7.5 out of 10 for me kasi medyo matigas nga siya. The sizing is true to size according to Nike's website. However, masyadong stiff or masyadong uh, constricted yung pa ako. Uh, for me, uh, for me, in my opinion, medyo makipot siya. So, depending on your comfortability, you go a half size up or you stay true to size. So, I got this at a true to size, size 9, and medyo makipot siya. I'm not sure kung naninibago lang yung pa ako because I've, it's been a while since uh, I've had an, an Air Max or I wore an Air Max. That's my feel for this uh, shoe. But overall, 10 out of 10 for the, for the looks and for the aesthetics. So definitely this would go down in history and it's it's quite an honor to have this this particular silhouette sa collection mo kasi biro mo you have something from the 1990s and then kukunin mo pa itong pangalawang nilabas nila which is yung Air Max 2090 which is uh, Nike's gift to the generation of today kasi yung 19 yung na Air Max 90 na to was a gift yung era ng mga 90s and then the 2090s is something for the 20th century people ayan so it would be a really really great addition if you have the Air Max 90 from the 1990s and the 2090 for the year 2020 so diba very very good addition to sa inyong collection so for the pricing nakaabang abang sa mga sale uh, I got this at just 20, uh, 2,000 pesos, 2,015, pwe, ayan, 2,015 with uh, a 20% voucher. Original price niya is 6,295 
it's now on sale at 4,409. Pero nung ni-release to nun sa Nike Energy Week na nag-sale sila, 2,519 lang. So expect this one to go a bit, siguro slightly lower or at the same uh, price, 2,519. And uh, I, I, ayun nga, binigyan ako ng voucher ng Nike. That's why nakuha ko lang to siya ng almost 2,000 pesos lang. So di ba? Sobrang steel for a legendary sneaker. So, I hope you guys would have the chance to to buy this uh, yourself and to have this in your collection because hindi kayo magsisisi. Uh, it's a legendary sneaker silhouette and uh, it, it would be an honor to, to be able to have this in your collection. So, that's it for now guys. But before I let you go, meron tayong pinamimigay na Uh, sling bag once we hit 500 subs and a uh, brand new pair of sneakers once we hit the 1,000 sub mark. So watch those video guys. I'll include a link down below and uh, subscribe to my friend uh, Sir Rai Ikatar. Uh, support his channel and uh, he has this uh, ongoing. I, I think it's still ongoing. Itong uh, typhoon drive to 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 raise funds to help uh, those in need. So. Please do watch his channel. So, that's it for now, guys. Babush! <music>